Okay, here's your choice. Juice or chocolate milk? Caramel or crackers? The treats that you feed your kids can actually impact not only their health, but their dental well-being as well. So Dr. David Stewart is from Little People's Dental. He's a dentist. He's going to tell us exactly which kids, which foods are going to make our kids' teeth rot, which ones won't. First of all, give me the scoop on this. When it comes to tooth decay, does it really matter what foods we're feeding them? It does. And to understand which food is best, you really have to understand the process. I mean, what makes decay in the mouth? You know, we have teeth, which are the hardest substance in the mouth. They're made of enamel. And that will dissolve in an acid environment just like a sugar cube would dissolve in water and so parents will say so what does that mean if someone has the right bacteria in their mouth anytime they eat a sugar a starch a simple carbohydrate that loads their saliva and the bacteria in their mouth eat that and start to process that the byproduct of that is acid and that acid dissolves the mineral tooth and so I take a bite of something it will take 30 or 40 minutes of this process before the saliva can clear that acid out. Now, does it really matter what I'm eating if I'm eating like obviously something really sugary or bad 30 minutes will clear it out but if I'm having just like one little Cheerio is the same effect happen that's a very you know it, it's true it's the bacteria don't care volume they care Am I eating? And so they eat something, they'll do, the byproduct will be acid. And so someone can get into trouble that's a grazer. I see most people getting into trouble, whether they're an adult or a child, someone that's eating frequently throughout the day because they take a bite of something, the child goes off and plays, gets bored half an hour later, comes back, takes another Cheerio, takes another bite of apple. And so right when we expect that acid to be clearing out, all of a sudden they take another bite, it just loaded it for another half an hour. So if someone had like three meals a day of nothing but like sugar cubes, and then someone else grazed on an apple all day, long you're telling me the apple grazer is actually gonna be doing more harm to his teeth they'll be much worse off oh yeah see I, <laughs> would parents understand any of that kind of stuff okay give me the scoop why there's some foods that are actually better for our kids than than others you're telling me everything is sort of bad everything's gonna load it up with acid it is 90 percent of foods have sugar starches things in it that will load it but some food are much more retentive than others so for example we look at two healthy snacks okay banana orange one of these is, is better? better. Yeah. I'm guessing the banana is better because the orange is going to have acid in it that will eat your teeth. Okay, so we think that, but we look at what clears the mouth more quickly. This clears the mouth more quickly. The banana is kind of a starchy, and you, you taste that as you eat it. It's retained in the mouth for a while. Bananas are one of the most decay-causing fruits because they're retained in uh -huh. the mouth longer, so they don't clear as quickly. Uh -huh. So both are good, but one's more risky. Okay, D you're not going to make me choose between potato chips and a caramel chocolate bar, There we go. Right? Yeah, let's, okay, let's caramel is sticky, it's sugary. Okay. It's going to clear the mouth quickly, but I'm still going to go with the chocolate <laughs> caramel bar. Very good question. When we look at, and that's another thing that's important to look at, because parents think sugar bad, everything else okay. Sh cooked starches are just as bad as sugar. And so when we look at, actually the caramel will clear faster, the chocolate is alkaline, so it actually neutralizes the acid more quickly. So this is a better snack than pretzels, Cheetos, potato chips, because they're more retained in the mouth, they're cooked starches, so they promote decay just as much. So when you look, both are promoting decay, this clears the mouth more quickly and actually starts to neutralize some of the Well, acid. that's at least some good news so you tell me, is the chocolate caramel bar is gonna actually be sort of good for me. <laughs> well, and that's the other thing, when we look, we sit our child down for a snack, which is better here. I'm guessing the cheese is going to be better, right? For the same reason that, first of all, it's got a lot more nutrients, but two, it's got a lot of calcium, and it's more neutral, so it neutralizes the acid better. So if you're doing a snack, string cheese, it's not a bad snack. Okay, when it comes to drinks here, so I said my child, I've got to put something in their lunch for school. Do I give them a quarter to buy milk at school? Do I do a, a juice pack? This is 100% juice, it says on the front. So we go, this is healthy. This is great for my kids. This is pretty much 100% sugar and water. So it's loading the saliva, clears fairly quickly, but it's just idle calories, not something good and healthy. I'd rather have them have the same amount of sugar in a chocolate milk that's got, it's again, kind of neutralizes, but it's got calcium, it's got a lot of other important vitamins in it that the others don't have. And one of the shocking things you were talking earlier is like a sippy cup with apple juice watered down can actually be worse than drinking a whole gallon yes. of apple juice. And I'll get parents that say that a lot. My child doesn't have a lot of juice. So I'll put a half a cup of juice in their sippy cup and add water. But this child, the problem with the sippy cup, it's not the sippy cup that causes decay, it's what's in it. So this child takes a drink, loads his saliva yeah. with a little bit of sugar. The bacteria says, great, eats it, starts making acid, tucks it under his arm and goes off and plays. Half an hour later, Takes we'll another drink again. and loads it again. He'd be better served to sit down and drink a gallon of apple juice at a mealtime and be done with it 
for, from a decay perspective. Okay, we've, we've touched on a couple of benefits. We're gonna just run through some of these quickly. First of all, you say avoid grazing. That's one way to avoid some of the problems. Yes, and so when we look at, so what do I do with my child? They get hungry, they wanna eat, they come complaining, I wanna eat. So we say six small meals a day. Make it structured, they eat breakfast. When they're done with breakfast, they're done. Then they go off and play. They know they have a mid-morning snack a couple hours down the road. They come, they sit and eat that. 10, 15 minutes, they're done with it. They don't eat again until lunch. Now a child will get thirsty, they'll want something and so we say okay when you're thirsty during the day or at night you get water so we can have a sippy cup with juice or milk or pop or whatever it is in your house it goes for meal times but otherwise when they're in during the day in the car taking a nap have a sippy cup with water in it water clears the acid in many areas it's fluoridated and so it's actually helping to strengthen the teeth also. So that's a, an important component. Then we look at snacks. Now I'm not saying don't eat Hershey bars, potato chips, bananas, I love them. So you're, you're a dentist, your kid's never getting, <laughs> no, we eat it all the time, but eat those things with the meal time. If you eat it with food, it tends to clear the mouth more quickly. So eat your dessert first if you want, then eat dinner and it will clear with the dinner. There's some great tips here. In fact, we've got more information on our website as well. If you go to studio5.ksl.com. We've also got a link on our website to Dr. Stu Stewart's office. It's littlepeoplesdental.com. It's a great office down there. Specializes just in pediatric dentistry for kids problems, which are a little bit different from the rest of the adult problems. So if you're looking for someone who can really help your kids with dental problems, look up Little People's Dental. I'm down in South Jordan, right? Thanks, Dr. Stewart.